my, let me get my phone figured out here. Every time I do it, it does it different. So hopefully let me get on my computer here so I can see where I'm at. <laughs> oh. Here I am. Let me get on my here. Hi. Computer. Okay, let's see if I'm too close or too far away or how are we gonna do this? see well, how does that look is that better a little bit at least oh yeah that's better okay all right that's pretty good I guess for now anyways okay so if you were here earlier we made these and so now I'm going to make the envelopes to put them in I have to, you know, make an envelope to put it in. And I have so many dang coffee stain envelopes, it's ridiculous. So I did pink thread for these and black thread for the other ones. And so I just coffee stained them and sewed all the way around. And I sewed the face right here so you can see it when you shut the flappy. And um, so it's baby pink thread. You can barely see it. So I was thinking this would be a good time to bring out the... Kitsch Flamingo Distress Paint, maybe. And I have a weird way of doing it, but it's just how I do it. So do it however you want. And my stamp or my platform is over there behind my thing and I can't reach it. I got to get Sean to get it. So this is just how I do it. And then I just whoosh and drag them through <laughs> through that's all I do because I want to just like dry brush it on yeah there we go kind of just blot blot you know just make some squishes perfect just you know some splotches of pink on there nice okay this will be good <laughs> Great. Perfect. That's how I like it. So we'll set that here to dry and I'll do the next one. Gotta add a little more paint. I kind of like chalk paint for this, but I'm gonna use this. So we'll see. Okay, so just drag it through a couple times here. Yeah, just hit the high points. Yeah, perfect. I guess I could use gloves, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm having fun. Okay, that's good. I can't, like I said, I think I kind of like chalk paint for this, but that would look good too. Or you could just use a brush and dry brush it, however, you know, like a normal human. But I like to do it like this. I don't know, I just do. Okay. Nice, I only got one more. Hey babes. <clears throat> Behind there is my glass thing that I can't reach now that you... Oh. I can't reach it. I had it in a certain spot so I could reach it. I can't get it. Sorry. I know. You put it away like that. Well, I did the... I know what happened. <laughs> I know what happened. But I need your help to get it out. But I can't. Get the dang thing. Can we get this thing? I know. Well, it just sits right there on the edge. It's fine. Okay. Here. Okay. I know. Bring it over here for me. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're boxed in. I'm boxed in. I know. I know. I gotta move this. Maybe this weekend. Oh, really? What do you mean? Oh, okay. 
I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Because the next step, I need this. Because I do another weird thing, but it's just how I do it. <laughs> it's just how I do it. Okay, good. Okay, so now we're done with this. And so unless I'm going to put... I don't think I'm going to do... I don't know what I'm going to do with the black ones yet. I'm just going to do the pink ones right now. Because I got more of those than these. Okay, so... Now I need my blow dryer. A really quick hit with my dryer, but my problem is, is, oh, here it is. I was going to say I'm in my new room and I don't know where it is, but I thought I put it in the same spot. I did. So let's just dry this real quick. Real quick. So see, it's not terribly pink, it's just a little bit, right? Just a little bit, here and there, you don't want to, you get it too pink, then it's sickening. And we can't have that, can we? love distressing it's my favorite thing to do so one of my favorite things to do anyway oh that's still wet dang it this is fun because you take something that's new and make it look old and coffee as you can see does a lot of the work for you coffee or tea or whatever you're going to use okay then I really like this um, enchanted gold. It looks really good on the pink. But I got a new pink and I haven't used it yet. Indian pink. This is gilding polish. Look brand new. So normal humans would take the sponge out. Hold on. You take the sponge out, you get it wet. And you use it on whatever you're going to use it. And then you wash it and all this stuff and put it back. Well, I'm not doing that for one video. <laughs> I just don't feel like doing it. You know, all that. I'm too lazy. So, I'll show you what I do. <laughs> I either get a big bag of these throwaway brushes... It's like 98 cents for like, I don't know, 50 of these or something. And I just dip in here and put some on here. Now I hope this isn't gonna, and it dries kind of fast, so you kind of gotta, you kind of gotta, you can't mess around kind of. And then I do the same thing. I just squish it around to see if it's gonna pick anything up. You know, and then kind of help it smoosh around. It is dark, so some of these are going to be dark, but, you know, whatever. See, and it just hits the tops, which is what you want. You know, I got it kind of thick, so I'm trying, and I'm hitting the thread now. I'm not getting it anywhere. Okay, so see, it looks like this. So I got two shades of pink on there now. The Enchanted Gold is gorgeous. It's my favorite. I use it all the time. Um, and it has some pink hues in it. And it's what I always use. But I, I have to broaden my horizons. <laughs> I got a new, new pair of shoes, so I got to use them. So that's what we're doing. 
So now I got two colors of pink. And then this one's like a little shimmery. So it's kind of fun because it gives you like a little, a little blingy surprise. Right? Okay. Ooh, that's a dark one. But we'll just spread it out. Nice. See, that looks good. Love it. Okay, and then the next one. Almost out of my stuff. This is kind of when I like it the most. When it's like, gets almost dry and there's not much on there. Because then you can really have, like, control of where you want to put it. And then you just get, like, the shine marks. And I really like that the best. See, I like this one the most. There. Okay. And then for this, this does dry out and I haven't found anything to reconstitute it except for like aloe vera gel maybe. So it really does need, just like Tim Holtz does, and he puts the, and then I just throw this out because it's, like I said, a dollar for like 50 of them. <clears throat> and then um, I put the press and seal because it dries out and I've had it happen to me because sometimes I go through phases, you know. So it's brand new, so I want to make sure. And you want to make sure that it touches the product so there's no air. Yep. And that helps it stay. Okay. <clears throat> so we got that. Okay, so now let's just look at it. Hi, Mary. Hello, hello. Okay. So we're distressing envelopes for my little project that I made earlier. So we coffee stain them. We sewed around with pink, pale pink thread. I put some paint on here, Tim Holtz paint, and then I just ran it through some gilding polish. Indian paint gilding polish. So now let's look at it and see what we think. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. All right, is that done? Should I do more? I wanted to bring in some black. So I'm going to put some black ink on the edges because my stuff is black and pink. This is what I'm going to be putting inside is this so I want to have like a little bit of soot on the edges so we'll take some black soot and see if we can get to darken up some of the edges here I mean you know just get a little Get a little grunge going on and make it look and soot really is spreads kind of funny anyway so there that kind of makes it look through like it went through a fire doesn't it it's all ashy I'm trying to get it so you don't see my marks but it's tough to do My swirly marks, you know. Maybe I should use a different applicator, but this one's all ratty and stuff. All right. There, so now it's kind of black and pink. That looks good. Okay, let's do a little more. On this one. Oh yeah, nice. We'll just get a little bit here at the top. Don't have to do a lot on it. Just maybe on the edges a little bit. Bring it in just a little bit around. 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, this is my favorite stuff. I use this gilding polish a lot because it just makes everything sparkle without using the glitter. That's what I like about it, you know? So I used... I might even put Enchanted Gold over this, still, over top of the, because it might look really good with, with a little bit of gold over the top. Yeah, I like this is getting a little dirtier looking. Nice. Okay, I only got four of these. I'm doing four of these, and then five of the black, black ones, but... Not today in this video. I'm just doing the four here. <clears throat> and I don't even know how far I'm going to get. I don't even know if I'm going to have a completed project, you guys. I'm just happy to be in my craft room because I did that remodel and I haven't done a video in, I don't even know how long, six months or something. And I just am happy to be sitting in my new room and I just wanted to come and visit you guys and show you what I'm doing because it's been so long. I've missed my YouTubies. I'm busy in my group, you know, on Facebook. I know some of you guys don't like Facebook, but we have a lot of fun over there and it keeps me busy. So, so I have to run the group. Even if I don't do videos, I have to, you know. So if you want to come and see me over there, you sure can. I don't think I linked it in the description box today, but I did earlier, so you can always go find an earlier video if you want the link. Okay. These are cute. Okay, now... You know when you see something really cool on YouTube and you don't save it or anything and you think, oh, I'll know where to get it? Well, I don't. But... I just wonder if I'm done now with this. Anyways, I was going to do this cool thing with a stamping platform i seen Tim Holtz do, and now I can't find it. So, and this whole stamping platform whole idea, this was Daisy Collins made me buy it time right now. <laughs> She says how awesome it is and everything, and I believe her, so I got one, and here I am, Daisy. It's been like a year since I've had this, and I haven't tried it. I just want to make sure this is in the right spot, because that is way too far that way. Hmm. I thought I already had this figured out, you guys. Sorry. This has got to be way out here, so maybe I'll have to do it this way. Shoot. I thought I had this all situated already. Dang it. But it looks like, I don't know, I was messing up for something. Okay, so here's my envelope. My little magnets. I like this one because it's like on a cushion and, and it, it's cool. But anyway, so I'm going to make these um, going to Tiffany and Company. If you haven't got the Tiffany and Company stamp, ooh, girl, you need it. <laughs> you need it, girl. I guess I'm going to put it over this way. Just I should just put it in the middle, I guess. But I was thinking... Um, I was going to put another stamp on here, but I'm not sure. Maybe it would be too much, but I have this dress on a hanger. I don't know. Otherwise, I was going to do this, but that was going to be with, yeah, see, I have to put it down here. Because this is going to be where I'm going to put my name and stuff. Okay, so this will be down here. Oh, okay. That's what we'll do. And then you go like this. And it sticks on the back of your plate, which is neat. So now I lift it up and put ink on it. I want, I think, um, this. Black. This one. This is huge and old. But 
It's really good. <laughs> I hope this works now. I've never used a stamping platform. This is my first time ever. So I have no idea. I might have to use a different, but we'll try it because we can do it over and over in the same spot. That is the beauty of having a stamping platform, but I didn't want it that low, but I guess that's how I had it, isn't it? Because I got to get my other business on there. All right, so it's going right here. If I didn't get it good enough, you can just put more ink on it and redo it, or I can use my little black. I like to use the little one when I'm doing this. Where's my little ones? Where's my little ones? Everything's falling. Where's my black? There it is. We'll see if it works or not. Oh yeah, Tiffany and Company, New York, whatever. But I want it darker, so I'm gonna put more black. more again because so I want it really dark that's going to be so cute Tiffany and Company envelope Ooh -hoo! I love it and then the magnets are keeping your envelope in place so you know you're getting it again Ooh, fun I love it it looks really good all right, that was fun. Tiffany and Company with pink. Ooh, my favorite. Okay, let's do the next one. And you just put this up to the top up here. And then re-ink. Oh, shoot. I'm like, what the heck? I like lots of ink. Cool. Okay. Nice. Now I'm going to do more. It's really nice if you have his distress markers. I should get his distress markers in black and like the colors I use all the time. Cause I could just write it on there with his distress markers and then stamp it. But I don't have any markers I have as crayons, but not the markers. God, there's just so many things to buy when you do this. It's stupid. Cool. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Okay, there's two. There's the number three. Make sure it's all right. Okay. three going down Daisy Collins I'll have to tell her I'll have to send her my link because she's the one that told me to get this and how awesome it was and now I can't find the video that Tim Holtz did oh my god it was so good 
I think it moved. Shoot. Nope, it did not. Thank goodness. Anyway, Tim Holtz did a good video on it where he did a, a light color and then like smudged it and then put a dark color over it. I thought that was so great and now I can't find it. So shoot, I'm mad. I don't remember exactly what he did, you know, so I want to. So if anybody knows that video, tell me. Because I can't find it. I looked and looked and I'm like, forget it. I'm just going to do black then. <laughs> I'm getting black on the ends of my nails from doing this. All right. This is really cool. It's actually better than trying to do it freehand. It actually is. I don't like this one though because the lid doesn't stay on. It's just magnets. So I literally think I would get the Tim Holtz one because this one is, I mean, I like the magnets and stuff, but I can't let it go and it falls off. Tim's is different. You have to pull it and it's double sided. You can do rubber back or clear backs on either side of the platform, depending on the type. This one is just one size fits all, I guess. That is just nice. Bodacious. All right, cool. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna use this on my black ones yet, so I'm gonna just leave that. Because these, to get this, I'd have to pull it off, and then there's a bunch of glue on the back of it, right? So how do I get all that glue off, and do I want this, um, you know, not on the stamper? I don't know if I'm gonna commit to doing this or what. I actually like it way better because I can't see. I don't know. Is it got it's got glue on it, right? So if I pull this off, is it gonna be all sticky? I'm doing it, I guess. OMG. It is, but it's fine. Cause I am a messy stamper. Okay, so let's take this off. And I'm supposed to clean it, but I'm gonna probably use it for my next one so I'm gonna just set it over here okay and this one let me see where's my dang baby wipes here I we read just re finished the remodel and so everything I don't know where it is right now it's like I feel foreign in my craft room right now because I don't know where anything is. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so this I'm gonna do embossing. This is gonna be clear embossing ink on this. So I gotta stamp, stamp, and then I gotta get right over and do the, the powder. I gotta see, what am I gonna do? I was thinking I would just do pink powder, but all this pink on pink, that's probably too much, huh? You think that's too much? So I was gonna do pink. Let's see what other colors I got. <coughs> um, well, I have a lot of good colors, but I really don't like the, let's see. I don't even know what I want to use. I really like Tim Holtz glazes because you can see through them. It's not just like this flat opaque. So let me just see. Well, I just have vintage photo, but I don't know. That's not going to be cool, is it? I was just going to do pink, but is it too much pink? You know, the Kitsch Flamingo, because that's the kind of paint color I got on with pink and pink, or is it like, okay... 
Otherwise, I have vintage photo. You know, I got all a bunch of colors here. Peeled paint. None of those will match, though. That's what my problem is. Unless I go with a completely different, like the speckled egg. Or I could do... Ooh, this is Distress Glitter. I've never used this. Never used it. I have no idea how to even do it. So, let's see. Whoops. Found the magnets. Let's see. What do we think, huh? Or I could try to just do white. White would be pretty, too. But I was trying to go dark on here, but I don't have black. Hmm. Let's see. I have turquoise, white, pink, more glitter. Well, I guess I was just going to do pink. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. To heck with it. We'll just go crazy. Okay, so... And I think I could probably use, I have the little tiny embossing ink little pad. That'll probably work the best. I have the dauber and this. And then, and then I have the pen too. So it's really cool because I can just, I could, well, what I'm going to do is, is, um, I don't see any of it now. Oh, here it is. I'm going to use this for the return address and then I'm going to stamp in friend to friend on there for my return address. So I wanted it to be all like fancy and cute, you know? So we'll see if we can get it that way. <laughs> we'll see if we can get it that way. So anyway, I think this will work the best or maybe the pen, but I'll try this first. All right, so let's try to get this where we wanna put it. Here it is. So what you do is you just put this where you want it on your envelope. And you got to make sure your envelope is in the same spot every time. So I'm going to put this all the way down on the end. And then all the way up to this ruler spot. And then this is going to go right here. Hopefully I got it straight. Okay, now it sticks to the platform, see? So then I put my clear stuff on. If there's any on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Pen might have worked better, but... Okay, and then, I don't know how long this stays wet, that's my problem. I always feel like I have to hurry. And then I have to get my box because it splatters everywhere when you try to dry it. I get one of these you know the glaze powder gets everywhere so I just don't know how long it stays wet so let's just see if I did a good job with that see if I need to do it again or not yeah I do I missed some right here you can see where I missed So let's just make sure it goes on really good. That's why this stuff is so cool. Okay. Nice. So then I can stamp my... And then you go... I just don't know if I can do all four of these and then, or do I have to go right to the, 
I feel like I have to go right to the glaze because otherwise it's going to dry. So I really don't know, you guys. <laughs> I really don't. Shoot. I'm not doing, I needed a piece of paper here. Shoot. Oh, well. I hope it didn't dry already, so I got to wait and see here. Might have dried already. Ah. Got to get it off my threads. And then sometimes I clean it up around the edge. Because otherwise it... Let me see now. And I don't know how to get it to not stick to everything else because it's like you can flick it, but it kind of takes it off this too. So sometimes I just take a dry brush and Okay, so it looks like felt. That's cool, right? And then I go like this. Oh, this looks good. I thought it would be too much pink, but it looks good. And it's shiny, so that's nice. See, that looks cool, right? I love it. I love it. And then I'm going to put friend to friend inside there. Oh, that's cute. And it's all dry and glossy now. I like it. This is for the envelopes for the wall of inspiration little things I was doing. This I am not going to. Oh, I love it. That is so adorable. So cute. I love it. And then I'm going to put some text, some script stamp on here to make it look older and stuff. I'm just showing you one what I'm going to do to all of these. That's cute. I love it, and I'm going to put a stamp up there. I've been looking at what kind of stamps I'm going to use. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I just do a light little words around so it looks abused and used. Nice. Okay. I like it. And then, <sighs> what else was I going to do? Oh, I got to look for the stamp. Oh, these are pretty. I like it. Oh, and then this, I was thinking I should do either a wax seal with the crown or just C 
seal it right here like this with the black. That's what I'm gonna try to do right now, just for kicks. Where's my black? Here it is. I think that'll be cute enough. With like a little seal right here of a crown. Cause that is super cute. Like this. Oh, cute. I like that, right? Adorable, right? And then I was gonna find a pretty um, something up here cause I have pretty, um, I'll show you what I made. Um, if I can find the dang things. I made pretty vintage ladies vellum stamps. I don't know if you can even see. I gotta wait for the leg. I don't usually use this for a camera, so I have no idea where the camera's at. Man, I got a far behind leg, holy. I still can't see. Oh yeah, you can see, look. And she's got flowers all around and um, she's got, she's in the garden or something, you know. Isn't that cute? But I made a bunch, this is only one. Oh, here's another one. Okay. There's two. I could use these roses for stamps though. That'd be cute too. Maybe I could cut this one in half and use this one too. It's just these envelopes are so big. So let's just see. Nice. Okay, here's the other couple other ones because I got more envelopes over here to do. Cool. All right, good enough. That is cute. Only problem is, is these vellum doesn't like glue. So it gets all crinkly. So what do I do? Sew it on. How do I do it? Staple it. <laughs> I could staple it. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm going to do it. This is how we do it. Because I am fancy with my new stapler. I got the baby little one. The Simwalt's baby one. <sighs> and I haven't used it yet. So, we are doing it. It's going to be so funny. I'm going to staple my stamp on. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I'm doing it. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to get way over here. Oh, it fits. Okay, good. Nice. Oh, that's cute. Because I got um, the right kind of stuff now. Stamps, you know, for this. I just got to dig them out. I thought I had everything out already, but I guess I don't. Okay, so we could use... I have this one. It's got the line, so we'll do that. And then I found all these, like this one says, do not bend and all those fun things. This one says rush. And this one says paid. I guess I don't need that one. I'm looking here now. And... This one has all the different markings, so we'll use that one. And this has the round, the round things. We need the round things. And that's done. All right. Sometimes I like to use the bird, but we'll see. Okay. So let's see.
Okay, so first we'll do the lines because we got to have the lines, right? I'm going to have black all over me. So first we'll do the lines right here. That's fun. And then we'll do the circles because I got a couple different circles we can do circles. This one says March 29th, 1962. And this one says, you know, I don't know what, just whatever, <laughs> you know, all these different to make it look like it traveled, you know, far something. This one goes like this. So we'll do it like that. 1844. And this one has, oh, did I freeze? Let's see. Let's see what it says. Yep, there, I got it. Low battery. These take so much juice to do a video, I'm shocked. I knew that was coming. Okay, I plugged it in. I plugged it in. All right, let me try it. Let me get it up here and then I'll plug it in. see. Sorry, I was trying all different kinds of things because now I got this dang cord, but I want to see what it looks like once we get it up there. Okay, this, I'm almost done anyways. We did the March one. Okay, and then should we do rush and do not bend? I know it generally goes on the front, but it would be fun to have some stuff on the back. Don't you think? Like, do not bend. We'll just do it like they would do at the post office, right? Ready? I'm scared. It's red ink. Oh, I love it. Okay. Do not bend. And I'll put rush over here. How about that? Down here? I don't know. That's fun. That looks good. Ooh, that stinks. I like these. That's cute. I didn't do much to the back, but it's a clean, a clean thing. And then I'm gonna do created by, I could do that and then put my name. I was just gonna do it on the tag so that they could, you know, not, they could reuse this if they wanted, you know. <clears throat> but we'll see. So that's what I'm gonna do to the rest of the four, and then I have these ones for the pink ones, and then these black ones. These are the black ones. Whoops, upside down. These are the black ones, and then I'm gonna do, I have a couple of red envelopes I'm gonna do, and then a couple of just regular ones, but you see I sewed around with black thread and stuff. See, so it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna do the same process on all these. It takes a while, and I do have a lot of videos already on distressing. I wasn't even going to do it, but I just felt like it because I haven't done one for so long. So I'm having fun in my new room. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Did you watch the video? I know the sound was bad, but okay, so here's the next one that gets the embossing. All right, so you know what I'm going to be doing tonight, right? <laughs> right. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go out and go for a walk before it gets too dark. It's only 530 here, but it gets dark quick. Right. Thanks for coming in and watching. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Oh, man. It's hard to do, girls.